Ivana and Robbie, welcome to New Zealand. Uh, Thank you. It's fantastic to have you here. Are you guys um, going to get a chance to sort of see a bit of the country, do a, a few touristy things? Yes, we're going to Hobbiton after this interview, <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah straight away, let's get out of it. Let's <laughs> go, let's go. Go to the Shire. <laughs> and uh, we're going We're going to see Wicked this yeah. weekend. Yeah, we've been um, invited to, to meet the cast and sort of go, go see them, so that'll be fun. Just Lovely. see a few, yeah, and I'm... Everyone's always talking about the, the restaurants here, so I'm going to go scout out some veggie food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it, really. And we were just told about bungee jumping. Apparently Beyonce did this bungee jumping thing from the Sky Tower last week. So, uh, Beyonce yeah. did it. Yeah, so, uh, well, Beyonce, uh, she's a massive <laughs> fan of mine. Uh, I mean, uh. flip that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can, uh, I can throw myself off the Sky Tower. That'd be fun. Oh, <laughs> so, it sounds like uh, you know, a great weekend. Uh, this could end up being a posthumous well, interview by the time you broadcast this. This could have all gone very badly. In memoriam, Robin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter, it's one of the biggest film franchises in recent history. Do you guys feel privileged to be part of something like that? Oh, of course, 100%. <laughs> yeah, like the more the time goes on, I, I, I was saying the other day, I was like looking at emails, and I have so many like requests, charity events, for instance, I was like, whoa, this thing isn't going away. <laughs> like, because I was used to that at the time, but now it's been like three years, and it's still the biggest thing, and it's like, it, it just, it, like, you know, here we are in New Zealand. We yeah. just got a free trip to yeah. go here. Yeah, yeah. You don't get that with any other else. Like, the, the Harry Potter's given just so many opportunities, got me to meet so many people, and, yeah. I, and, I, yeah, it is always going to be there, and even if they do remake them and it goes on, and, you know, Jackie Rodney is doing a new one. She's doing Fantastic remake Beasts them. now. Well, you know, this is always going to be the original, and we yeah. are so privileged to be a part of this massive... Yeah massive franchise and you forget I mean it's sometimes it's sometimes one of those things sort of you can go to a, a meeting or um, uh, an event or something and you'll kind of meet people and they'll go oh what are you working on what are you working on and you'll talk about new projects and stuff and then you'll go Harry Potter so Harry Potter you mention all it's, your it's, crappy low budget things that you're doing it was always, yeah. <laughs> and then you say Harry Potter and then they sit up it and then they take interest to, so yeah so it's but it's one of those things kind of sometimes you want to sort of go yeah but that was that was a while ago now this is what I'm doing now but That's at, all the same, okay. at the same time yeah at the same time it's, it's Harry Potter it's mm. it was something to be yeah to be proud of well, we'll stick on Harry Potter for a bit. Uh, Ivana, you had a bit of an interesting story in how you actually got into the movies. Yeah, yeah. I, so I was a really big Harry Potter fan, and I was 14 at the time. I've been a fan since I was about eight. And um, But yeah, I lived in Ireland, and we don't have a massive film industry there. And um, my parents were both teachers, so like I had no one in the industry, had no experience. I did want to act, but I was very shy, so I kind of felt like I was held back by that. But then... I saw a casting call for Luna Lovegood on a Harry Potter website and I just said, I have to go. <laughs> you know, it was like one thing that I didn't, I kind of put everything aside, like schoolwork, the fact that I was shy, I was just like, I have to go and do this. And yeah, I had an audition then, it was a screen test, and then a week later they called me in, no, I had an audition. And then a week later, they called me for a screen test, and that was it. Just two. <laughs> and now, and now you're here in New Zealand. Here I am. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all Seven, yeah. eight years later. Yeah. <laughs> Robbie, how did you get into acting? How did you get involved in all well, this? Well, I mean, that that story. That's a funny one because she only had to. I think. I think for James, we did like I don't know five auditions or something. It was. It's one of those. You know. Yeah. You have an agent. They give you a, a phone call, and usually they phone. Say, oh, there's this movie. And, uh, and you know, we'll send the script through and you'll have a read of the script. You think, oh, this might be good, this might be rubbish. When they phone and say it's Harry Potter, you're like, oh, okay. I'm going to sit up, I'm going to take, <laughs> take note of this one. This is an important one. So, uh, so yeah, it was one of those things. I, I started off doing theatre um, and, uh, and did, uh, did a Romeo and Juliet in London um, uh, doing, doing Romeo. So uh, that was a nice start. And then I got an agent and... Yeah, one day they phoned and said, go, go for this audition for Harry Potter. And I thought there's absolutely no danger I was going to get cast. Absolutely no chance. And every time they'd phone and say, yeah, they'd like to see you again. They're not sure which role, but... And then they think it might be James. I'm going, that's it's never, never going to happen. Absolutely no way. And then eventually, yeah, eventually one day I was working on something else. And, uh, and they phoned up and said, yeah, we'd, we'd like you to, to be James. And I bounced into this, this other job with loads of really hard-working, struggling actors. <laughs> and then we yeah, I'm going to be in... And uh, yeah, they were, they were they were much nicer than I would have been. I think mm. they should have, they should have punched me and uh, shut up, get back to work. But they didn't. They were really sweet. And then by about lunchtime, I kind of calmed down and got back on with it. But yeah, everyone everyone always says, oh, it's never going to be like this again. Mm. You know, Harry Potter's a one-off. You're never going to be in that kind of situation again. And you kind of go, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. 
and then you realise you're never going to be in that situation again. It's it's a one-off. Were you a fan as well? Massive, yeah, huge. I uh, we were talking about this. I used to write <laughs> embarrassing. I used to write uh, fan fiction. I wrote stories about the characters uh, and posted them online uh, before I was acting. So when I was fourteen or fifteen. Um, so I yeah I wrote. I think I've said this before. I wrote the year before I wrote because I wanted to be Cedric. And the producers were very kind. They sent a letter back. Um, I think probably didn't someone at their office sent a letter back and said, no, uh, sorry, that one's already cast, but we'll remember you next time. And then my agent, yeah, they, um, they ended up ended up doing their work, <laughs> doing me a service, and, uh, and yeah, get me in. Mm. Fantastic. Since Harry Potter, what have you guys been up to? Um, I've, oh, got legs. <laughs> sorry, I just blanked there. I was thinking of something else. Um, well, I moved to the States afterwards, and so I did, uh, I did Simba series, and then I did, um, I, I did a movie recently called GBF. It's like an American teen comedy, so very, it's like the opposite of Harry Potter. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to be in it, because I'd, I'd never worked in America, and there were some cool names attached, uh, and I got to play like, really, the mean girl. I got to play nasty, nasty character, and that was fun. And then I just did a play in England about Houdini, which was great. I got to be a magician's assistant, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, and I, it's, well, that's the thing, it's kind of how many different things can I do. I've, I've, uh, I've got a movie which is coming out in a few weeks about Jimi Hendrix. Um, so Andre Benjamin, Andre 3000, the lead singer of Outcast, plays Hendrix. Uh, so again, you literally couldn't get any further from how sort of drug taking and kind of rock and roll and the Beatles and the Stones. Yeah, couldn't get any further from Harry Potter. Um, but again, it's kind of fun to do stage and do bits of telly and stuff. And you never know what, what's next. You know, it's sort of you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life, hopefully, you know, if everything goes well. So just kind of take one job at a time and, and enjoy it. Do you find uh, that it's it can sometimes be quite challenging to do different roles that you are sort of typecast as being your Harry Potter characters when you're going for auditions or when you know you're thinking of a movie role people automatically think of you as uh, Luna and James? People yeah people do that with me um, I don't think it's a bad thing because I, I think because I was able rather than being I think I would prefer to be you know Luna even though she was a very distinct character and she was eccentric and is known for that rather than being a bland character because playing Luna's character and playing such, such an eccentric allows me to go in another direction that completely you know, opposite direction, and then it makes people <laughs> see you see that you have range. You know, because after like the last thing I did was yeah, Houdini, and I, I had to have a Brooklyn accent, and she was very different. She was quite ballsy and strong and all that. And people, yeah, I think it, it surprises people, and it keeps it keeps them guessing about what you're going to be next, and and it's a lot of fun. So no, like yeah, people, yes, casting agents will see you that way. They will want to cast you in certain roles, but it then is my job to try and convince them otherwise yeah. and I like having that control and I like having that responsibility. Yeah, yeah I think I think he's right. I think it's a bonus. I think uh, one, if as an actor you can make anyone remember a role you've done, that's kind of your job, that's pretty pretty good work. Uh, and also, I mean particularly for Eve because she's so different as a person from Luna, uh, I think it gives you that opportunity to surprise people, you know, which is which is cool. That's if you can do a role and they get used to that and then you can do something completely different, like Breaking Bad, like uh, Brian Cranston, you know, everyone knows him from Malcolm in the Middle and then all of a sudden he pops up as water white and everyone's like, um, that's cool, that's, that's a really good opportunity to have. And so if you do get known for one particular role, then that gives you a really big goal to aim for in terms of doing something new and something different and then surprising people and showing them what you can do. Yeah. So I think it's a, a bonus. And that's the thing like with Harry Potter, it kind of... I did struggle with the idea that I felt like I wasn't an actress for so long. I felt like I was a bit of a fraud because Harry Potter gave me the high profile, but I didn't have the experience. But once you have like the that people are going to look at you in Harry Potter, like it's gotten me indoors, then you have the chance to prove yourself. And that's what everyone's looking for. Like some people are super talented, really struggling, really trying to get seen, but they never get that opportunity, and no one notices them. And then they kind of, you know, maybe they'll get discouraged. So. That is such a, a blessing to yeah. have that. that if you're building people will a be career, willing yeah. to meet you. Yeah. yeah, you're building a career, and it's a great way to start. It's um, it can't be a negative. It's only a positive. Mm. Mm. What's next for you guys? Um, I cannot. Really <laughs> I cannot say. say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm possibly doing a movie in Ireland soon, but I can't say what it is. Um, yeah, I'm just focusing. I do. I teach yoga as well, so I focus on that. It keeps me sane. Because I think in acting, you're always waiting for someone else to give you a job. So this yeah. is me telling other people what to do. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a typical actor, nothing. If anyone, if anyone has a job, 
um, let me know. Uh, Don't do that. You're not here. <laughs> I, uh, I'm actually I've I've written and I'm going to be uh, directing uh, a short movie of my own um, later this year. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on until the agent decides to pick the phone up. That's uh, as Eve says, you kind of you spend a lot of time waiting for other people to call. So it's kind of nice when you've got your own thing and you can kind of crack on with that. Mm. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us and uh, enjoy your time in New Zealand. Thank, Thank you very much. Enjoy the Xbox. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.